Hello, welcome to my first unboxing. Uh, it might be a while before the next unboxing since uh, I don't buy a lot of stuff very often. But here's the book, the box. As you can see, a good box. It's always good to receive books in a box like this instead of instead of a vanilla envelope. I cringe every time I see a vanilla envelope because it scares me uh, what can happen, especially when there is no cardboard inside. But so far so good. I just got this in the mail today. The trusty mailman just dropped it off. I know what this is. Uh, I bought it from a trusted seller, so I was not one bit concerned about his packaging. It's the first time I bought from this seller, but um, I have high confidence that he knows how to grade and he knows how to pack. Got good amount of uh, styrofoam. I try not to make a mess. Okay, so inside the box is a padded envelope. see how big um, the cardboard is for sure it will protect the book it's always all always make me cringe also when I see cardboard that is barely the size of the book or smaller than the book those are the ones that get me going crazy because what is the point of using a backing board that is smaller than the book I have had sellers put in backing board but not tape the book between so the backing board is free to slide inside uh, the envelope once again what's the point of putting in a backing board when the book can slide and expose itself on the edge for corners and can get dinged up and it did so the main of the this one of those many head scratching situation when you when you just had to wonder like what were they thinking when they packaged the books. Okay, let's see. Okay, now that I have taken the books out of the bags and board. I can show you the up close um, view of the books and here's the first book uh, I tend not to collect flash comics in fact this is my first flash comics golden age that I purchased uh, the reason I bought this is the historical aspect of the date that it was on the stand is most of you probably have seen and watched that I tend to uh, prefer to collect golden age book between um, you know the late 30s and through 1945 the end of World War II wartime golden age is uh, a definite focus of mine particularly particularly uh, month that have uh, historical 
uh, significance. So the cover date of this book is August, but uh, as, as we all know, the cover dates are, ten, are usually two months uh, behind as far as when the book was actually on the newsstand. So the cover date of this is August. Let me show you. August 1944. So one of the key focus that I have is, you know, trying to get the significant date of World War II and for the history buff um, out there, June of 1944 is D-Day, the big D-Day. And so this book was on the stand in June of 1944, okay? Uh, maybe uh, not quite on the exact date of D-Day, but it's around that time where this book was on the stand. So uh, can you imagine uh, the state of mind of the nations and the readers when this book was um, available to buy? This is a beautiful copy, uh, you know, for a golden age book, 1944. The interior is quite nice. You know, the cover, as you can see, is not very tan. It's, it's certainly yellow, but it's not as bad as uh, some of the other golden age book that I have. And just look at this. This book is like white and the color of the interior is just beautiful, sharp. There's something to be said, and as I have said it many times before, the colors that they use and the methods of printing back then, however crude, produce extremely beautiful images. Very sharp, vibrant color, look at that. This is a golden age flash, okay? Beautiful. I can't wait to uh, give this book a good read. Love it, absolutely love it. So that's the first one. Beautiful. Let's see the back cover. Pretty decent. There's a one inch tear there. Not bad, but definitely you know a book that would be I would say in the 3.5 range in my opinion and the other book that was in the box is right here ready ah, Batman number six beautiful look at that I love this cover the red and yellow beautiful now this one here, the cover is detached on the bottom staple, so I have to be extra careful. The top staple is good. A little corner crease there, but otherwise, look at this book. You know, there's a slight crease right there. This book probably, if I had to guess, I give it a 3.0, okay, because of the Detach um, lower staple here, and then the long vertical crease that go all the way up and down, and then just the cumulative wears on both the front and back covers, just enough to you know be a little bit lower than this book right here. If the staple was still attached, you know you would, would be talking about at least a four maybe even a 4.5 but that would be maximum look at the pq of this book too white gorgeous i love opening up to a nice golden age book and once again the interior cover is slightly yellow tan but not bad okay not bad at all and let's look at the date of this book 1941 August, September of 
course, the significance of that date is the beginning of the German invasion of the Soviet Union. Um, if you are not familiar with World War II history, uh, of course, uh, Pearl Harbor is only four months away, so you can imagine the preparation that was going on at the time in Japan is they are gearing up for that battle. As with every Golden Age book that I have, I'm always amazed at the great white page quality of the books, as well as the vibrant colors. Beautiful. For sure, I will be sitting down with these two books and flip through and read them. Um, I have read this book in the reprint before, but never read a raw copy like this. And as with any Golden Age books or any books I buy, I need to sit down and go through every page to make sure that everything is here. No missing panels, no hidden surprises, but beautiful, as you can see. Gorgeous. Hard to believe that something like this survived 72 years. Can you believe it? 72 years. We can already wish to age this well, right? Anyhow, um, thanks for watching my first unboxing video. Bye.